Hello ladies and gentlemen, okay, well, you'll notice that this is a bit of a different video this time, mainly because, for some inexplicable reason, I'm deciding to climb a mountain again. Yes, last year I did Snowden with my wife and her brother, and, well, we sort of started getting the itch, and we've decided, yeah, we're going to do Scarfell today. Scarfell Pike, to be exact. So, um, it's about, well, what is it about? Half half seven and that is probably more like eight o'clock in the morning at the moment. So we've just fueled up on porridge. We've got our supplies, got plenty of um, plenty of water, plenty of juice and squash and everything. Got all our snacks and stuff. Um, it's about because we're staying in Keswick at the moment. It's about an hour's drive there, so we've got a little bit of a, a trek ahead of us. Um, and judging from what we've seen online, because there's quite a few routes up there from the looks of it, but. I think we're doing the easiest one today. Uh, we're doing it from the Wasdale Head area, um, and yeah, never obviously never done this before. Well, I've not done Scarfell Pike before, but uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I don't know. Um, weather conditions look good. It's going to be about twenty-three degrees heat, but uh, we're going before the heat gets too bad. Hopefully, um, no forecast for rain or anything. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be good, um, and I'll see you when we get parked up. So. I'll see you in a bit. Here we go, so we're at the start of the trail now. We've just uh, we've just begun, we've just came from there. And we're heading up there, basically, following that trail. So, not, well, a little bit concerned about the uh, cloud cover that's on top of, um, yeah, on top of, well, I'm assuming it's Scarfell, but I don't know, you, there's so many points around here, it's hard to actually tell what is Scarfell Pike and what isn't, so, um, yeah. At the moment, it's already quite steep already, but it should be, it should be fine. So the weather's good, the temperature's right, it's not too hot. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. So yeah, hopefully it's going to stay like this and uh, yeah, we'll be all right. So I'll catch you a little bit further up the trail. Hello, sir. What are you doing up there? <laughs> no, I'm eating. Beard. Admiring the view, clearly. I think, judging from the looks of it, we're about, uh, well, judging from the GPS, it says we're, we've already done a quarter of the trek, but I don't think that's the case. So it's been oh, a little bit, well, it's been a little bit, well, unrelenting in its uh, steepness at the moment, but it's been quite steppy. And I think that's the difference between that and when we climbed Snowden, is that there were quite a few, uh, like sort of flat paths at the moment. It's basically, Looking a little bit like that, so just all uh, all steppy and everything. So yeah, sun's coming out now, but yeah, the cloud is uh, definitely thickening up from what it looks like on the summit. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think we've still got quite a way to go. So bear with. Oh, oh the trail did say we were going to cross a river, and this is it. Oh, oh. Great views already. Look at that. Whew. Right, heading up there after that apparently, so I'm going to put away because this could be slippery. Let's find out. So, update, I'm sweating like a son of a bitch, but uh, 
I think we've hit the steepest part, Brown Tongue, which is uh, really steep. But after this, apparently it gets easier from here. So about two kilometers in, I think. So plenty more to go. Just uh, stopped off for a little little bite to eat, and a bit of rehydration, a bit of apple juice. And that's the main tip is just to keep, uh, keep hydrated, keep fed, keep your sugar levels up. But we've just come up there, which looks a little bit like a summit itself, but we're only about halfway. We've still got all that to go. But uh, you can see, I think it's looks like it's in the cloud cover, the summit at the moment. So I don't know if we're gonna get any uh, big views or anything, but we've just done the steepest part. And uh, as from the looks of it, it looks like it um, peters out a little bit now and it's a little bit more gradual. The landscape's definitely changed. It's less steppy and more uh, more rubbly and everything. So yeah, we'll rest up and then we'll be carrying on. See you in a bit. We are definitely getting into the clouds now. God. Oh, I'll tell you one thing though, oh, hardly any air up here. No breeze. Well, there's a little bit of a breeze, but mostly been no breeze at all, which has uh, which has definitely meant sweating a lot more. So just bear that in mind if you uh, do want to climb here. That's a bit different from Snowden. There was quite a bit of a breeze. But yeah, definitely not up here. But hopefully we haven't got too far to go to the summit, which could be, it could be that, or it could be that. I don't know. But what I do know is we've got a little sheep friend. Hello. I think we're nearly there, but we are definitely, definitely in the clouds now. Bloody hell. Surely not far to go now. Here's Urban. There it is. So close. So close. Made it. Oh, well, we did it. Didn't take too long, actually. It took us about two and a half hours, and most of the guys that I saw said it took about two to three hours, so that was uh, definitely the average. So, generally, a very good climb. Very uh, different landscapes as you went through. Sort of the first half was very steppy, I suppose you could say, a little bit steep. Um, then the second part was very steep. That was the brown tongue part with all the, uh, the waterfalls and everything. And then, um, yeah, the final summit was definitely a bit more scrabbly with more loose stones and everything, but overall very good. So, yeah, starting to climb down now. So, see how it goes.
you see every day. Cheers.